Okay, so this is for, for boxing fans, but for anyone who may be interested, I want to talk a bit about the role that boxing referees have. And I want to particularly reference one fight, Frotch Groves won. Uh, the referee, Hard Foster, had to face a torrent of oral abuse and uh, even more than that, actually, because of a decision he made in ending the fight in about halfway through round nine. Give a bit of context if you haven't seen the fight, although I suspect most British boxing fans have a lot of these big fights you can find on YouTube. Um, Frotch was, uh, won the fight, he, he got the decision, but Groves had been really doing well up until that point, and um, it was, as Frotch said, a very, very close fight. Groves was doing extremely well. Um, he showed himself to be made of nails. I mean, he went into a hostile crowd, he came out cheered. That's very unusual in boxing. Um, so full respect to George Groves and Carl Froch. I, I believe that was a fight where we saw two real warriors. Um, and in my view, two of the best British fighters of modern times. Um, Groves may not be quite on level of Froch, but you know he's still a young guy, he's still got a long way to go. Anyway, um, the controversy lies in the fact that Hard Foss has stopped it halfway through round nine. Now, I would show footage of this directly because I was watching the DVD last night, but unfortunately it doesn't come up very clear on the screen. So uh, just check it out yourself if you haven't done so already. And what I would ask people to look at is something quite important. Now, the contention lies in the fact that George Groves is still throwing punches. And that's true, he was. I've watched this several times. But his legs were not steady. He looked like a fighter that was bravely fighting on but in real danger. Now, the problem is, in a boxing match, it's very, very difficult to get a genuinely neutral view. The only people you can really expect it from is the judges and the referee. Both camps are going to be biased. The crowd is definitely going to be biased. And, you know, as much as I'm a boxing fan, I do think that there's this mob mentality sometimes takes over which is very ugly and that was very much seen after this um gross is furious that's kind of understandable because you know for him it's a big opportunity blow and this was a title fight now i've watched this a few times i do think that um i do think it may have been stopped a bit early but as a commentator in the dvd said um you know uh, commentator said he's very reluctant to criticize referees i i sort of feel the same way i think these guys have a profoundly difficult job and it's something that fans hugely underestimate i've spoken at length about how we should respect fighters but i would also use in equally passionate terms how we should respect referees they're not called the third man in the ring for nothing not only is it a case of having tough skin it's a case of being physically tough as well but it's very often as they saw in the White um, Joshua fight, you know, you get, um, actually I think it was Hard Foster who ref that, unless I'm mistaken. But anyway, the, the long and short of it is, Foster was widely attacked for ending that because on the grounds that Groves was still throwing shots and the fact that it was a title fight. But I take this view, um, the referee is closer than, than anyone, other than the fighters themselves to the action. He's closer than the judges, he's closer than the corner he's closer than anyone so he can see a fighter's eyes in a way that no one else can now, of course george Groves is never going to say so because he's got pride he's a fighter and he's never going to thank hard foster for stopping it but if it's a case of stopping it too early and potentially costing a man's ambition weigh that up against stopping it too late and being criticized when a young fighter ends up in a coma or something. This isn't inconceivable. Think of Michael Watson. Think of Gerald McClellan. There's many, many examples in boxing of fighters um, having serious... Uh, there was a Russian fighter uh, a few years ago. I forget the guy's name. But this is a dangerous sport. And I am absolutely adamant that people need to respect the split decision that referee has to make. Too late. Let's say Froch had thrown a few more power shots. What is to say that George Groves, tough as he is, brave as he is, wouldn't have been in serious danger? He's only a man. You know, these guys are fighters. They're tough men. But they are they're still just men. 
They're not supermen. And one punch too many could potentially be fatal. So I think it's pretty um, abhorrent that people got to the extent that they did. Apparently, some people even gave the guy online death threats. I mean, what the fuck? People who do that over a sporting event need to get a fucking life. I mean, it's true they're mostly cards and they wouldn't have carried it out, but it's a principle of it. That's just fucking low. Um, the people also say that he was biased toward Frotch. I don't see how. If you look at the fight, at many points he was taking off Frotch for very various um, maneuvers. You know, it's so. So to say that there's some sort of uh, corruption again, to say that Hard Foss is involved in corruption or something is bullshit. He has a job to do. He has a split decision to make. I've looked at that several times. I think he made the right decision. Yes, on the surface it looks like Groves is still throwing punches, and of course he's never going to admit it. But if you look at the guy's legs, he was clearly being overwhelmed in that round. It's true that Frotch is, uh, you know, having a real war up until that point, and Groves, you know, really was dominating. But in that round, I believe Groves was in serious trouble. And I totally get that he was upset. You know, if you're an ambitious sports person and you get the opportunity to take him away on the decision of a referee, of course you're going to be upset. But I think it's quite ugly that people turned on the referee the way they did. I mean, after the fight, you could hear some of the crowd chanting, the referee's a wanker. And this sort of thing really bugs me about the sport. You know, I, I love boxing. I find it very compelling. I wouldn't be talking about it if I didn't like it. You know, I I really um, see a side of the sport that I think boxing critics wouldn't see. On the other hand, it becomes hard to justify when you get basically animalistic behaviour from certain segments of the crowd. Um, if the security wasn't there, I think Hart Foster may have been in serious danger. And that's disgraceful. No referee should have to face that for doing the job. If they make a mistake, then yes, there could be a review of the decision. And, you know, if they do it consistently, then like any job, they should face some sort of disciplinary hearing or something. But I'm not going to criticise a referee for making that sort of decision. And people can't say it was like it ruined the fight. That's bullshit. The fight went on for nine rounds. It's not like he ended it in the first. It was a great fight. It will be remembered as a great fight. And, you know, nothing is taken away from either man. Um, Frotz showed what a warrior he was to overcome adversity. Um, he was gracious in victory. And Groves showed himself to be a warrior. I have a, a huge amount of respect for any fighter that goes into a hostile crowd and puts on a performance like he did. Um, so, yeah, uh, check out the video. I'm sure it's on YouTube. I've already left a lot of comments there because of strong views on this. You know, if I was in George Groves' shoes, sure, I'd feel upset as well. But I, I think the only people that have a right to be that upset is George Groves and his maybe his camp. But the fans, you know, making death threats, what a bunch of losers talking about the ones who've done that. It's, it's really pathetic. Just enjoy the fight and respect the fact that the referee has a job to do. If you're a George Groves fan, you know, Try putting yourself in hard foster shoes. It's bullshit. So, you know, I am making this video partly to defend hard foster, but also referees in general. Just a quick reference to my own fight. Um, you know, at one point my opponent was rabbit punching me behind the head. I could feel it. It wasn't painful, but I knew what the guy was doing. Now, had the referee not brought him off, how do I know I wouldn't have been in hospital now? I don't know that for a fact. So. You know, boxers will never thank referees, but in the long term, I think when George Groves is an old man, he may look back and think, yeah, yeah, maybe that guy was right. So let's just have a bit more respect for boxing referees because they have one of the toughest jobs in sport without question.